for women in mining business, how do we bring them on board? How do they know the opportunities that um, the um, Just Transition will be bringing them? We have been to places all over um, Africa where we have where we see women actually mining critical minerals. Do they know what these minerals will actually be used for? We see that they are more involved in the processing and in the mining, but do they know where these products will end? Are, have they been um, sensitized to know what, how important lithium, cobalt, manganese, all sorts of um, 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 strategic or green metals or green minerals, what actually these minerals will be used for. We need to sensitize women on the importance of the minerals, on the possibilities of value addition, on the possibilities of manufacturing. Women living in the communities who are not actually mining, but the decision to mine affects them because it's affecting their livelihoods. They have to sometimes give up their farms. They have to sometimes give up the gatherers, um, livelihood of going into the forest and gathering all sorts of herbs and, um, and wild, wild fruits and other stuff. They have to give all this up. What are the opportunities that we can offer them? What are the alternative livelihoods that transitioning will bring to them? What are we going to do? What are the minds themselves who have the capacity to transition? Will they be, um, will they be able to provide some of this green energy for communities to use? So the just transition should involve all vulnerable groups. For me, especially my women should be involved from the beginning, from the process, from the, in the decision making and involved in opportunities, trainings, skills building, access to finance for them to fully participate in an African just energy transition.